Hey there, thank you so much for clicking my video. And in today's video, these wigs are brought to you by Hair Supply Shop. I'll be sure to leave a link below to this wig and also their direct store. The brand of the wigs that I have today is Otre. I have on the style Julian. I have on the color 2 DR Chocolate Swirl and DRFF Red Velvet. This is what the inside of the wig looks like. You get a 13 by 6 parting space. You get two combs in the front and another comb in the back. The cap material is a stretch fit material and it is also breathable for your hair underneath. They also inserted a extra elastic band so you can get a nice little secure fit. The lace on my skin is also a bit gray but I'm going to try to go in and tint that. And the hair texture on this is like a kinky straight texture. Really nice but still soft. This is how the hairline looks straight out of the box. The hairline comes pre-plucked. You also get baby hairs. So for this style, I would like to do a middle part. A lot of you guys already know I had to get my Andis hot comb out for this one. If you're interested, the link will be in the description box. The temperature that I have it on is number five. I'm just going in and pressing out the hairline and I'm also gonna press out the parting space. But when I'm pressing it out, I'm making sure to not run the hot comb all the way through because it is changing the texture just a little bit. Do not turn up the heat too high because you can melt the hair, so please be careful. The product I will be using to help blend the lace in with my skin is this Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 355. I take that powder and I only apply it to the spots that will be showing. So that's the hairline and the middle part. And it just helps tint it to brown so when I put it on my skin, it's not as gray as before. In the beginning of the video, I messed up the color. It is DR2 slash chocolate swirl. Color combination on this is so cute. You can see the highlights, the low lights, like they did really nice with this brown. So this is how the hairline looks straight out of the box. It comes a little bit pre-plucked. Same thing with the other one. I like how you get baby hair throughout the whole hairline. It's just not on the forehead also. So for this one, I would like to do a right side part and I'm just pressing out the hairline, pressing down the baby hairs. Now after that, I'm gonna go in and press my parting down. I would like to go in and pluck the hairline a little bit, so I'm gonna go in and use these Morphe tweezers. And when I pluck the hairline on this one, I'm just gonna pluck it backwards. So I'm just gonna part out a little section, like about one inch or a few centimeters. And I'm just gonna pluck the hair backwards, if that makes sense. I learned this in a class, so I kinda like to do these with my synthetic wigs. Now. <laughs> Sometimes.
The hairline on this one comes really nicely pre-plugged. They did a good job. So I'm just gonna go in and press down the baby hairs and press back the hairline. With this color, you guys know I love me a good half up, half down style. So I'm just gonna take that and pin it back. I do wish this wig had a little bit more lace at the sides where the temples are. So the half up, half down style could look just a little bit more flatter. I have some of the hair over the tracks, but this is the best I could do. So work with me, boo. Here's my end results on the red color and it's really cute. I love how they did the coloring on this one. It looks really nice. Great job, Ultra. Anybody out there, if you do not know how to cut the lace, just take your scissors and cut right along the hairline. You can cut in jagged motions or just straight across, whatever works for you. When I first put the wig on, I felt like it was secure, had a nice snug fit, very tight, not too tight where I feel like I'm gonna get a headache, really nice. Also the lace is blending really nice on my skin. I like the way it's also laying, plus it's glueless. I don't have any glue, gel, spray or whatever. So right now the baby hairs are just a little too long for my liking. So I'm just going in and cutting down the baby hairs with a razor comb. And to style the baby hairs, I'm gonna go in with my got to be glued gel the yellow one Now I'm going to take that same powder again and just dab a little bit of the powder on my hairline to help blend the lace in a little bit more. I don't really want to lose the curls in the wig so I'm just going in with this Paul Mitchell wide tooth comb. I'm just combing it out a little bit and patting it down to get a little flat. I really like the texture on the hair, it looked really natural looking, but the density is very full on this unit. Right here is my end results on the color number two, and this wig is so gorgeous to me. It is so natural looking, especially if you're one of those ladies that's into like that kinky, straight, blown out texture, then this unit is for you. Like, it looks so good. It doesn't even look like a synthetic wig. Really great job. I really like how the lace blends. They did their thing. Whatever lace you guys are using Ultra, keep using that lace. The length of this wig on me, I would say is about 14 to 16 inches. My height is 5'6". The density on this wig is pretty thick to me. It's like a 180% kinky straight density in my opinion. Also the shine on this wig is very nice too. I don't think the luster comes off really shiny, but if you don't like the shine, you can always go in and dim it down with dry shampoo. The size on this wig is big head friendly also. It does have a stretch cat fit material. If you have a small head, you could take the uh, elastic band and just try to knot it at the ends. And yeah, you're good to go. I didn't really wanna comb out the curls because I feel like the more you comb out the curls, the bigger the hair will get. So I just left it like this.
Here is my end results on the chocolate swirl color and this color is really cute. I do wish I pulled the hairline down a little bit. I feel like I have the hairline down well back a little too much so it's making my forehead look big but otherwise the lace blends really nice the color is so nice the texture is so nice the layers is is just lovely i also love the way the roots just fade into the color there's no harsh line of demarcation i don't know what kind of technology otre got running in there but they is doing their thing like what this is so nice, like this really looks like some natural hair. If I didn't mention the tangling on the color two and the chocolate swirl before, let me mention it now. Tangling on both units, I had no tangles. That's the plus side about using a wide tooth comb. It helped with tangling. Also shedding was super duper low too. I got like about two strands. So that's another plus. And this color is really nice as well. I really, really love it. Right here's my end results on the red color and I really love how they did this color option from the black roots to the red and the dark burgundy like they really did their thing. I love how the lace blends in with my skin. I don't really like my baby hairs. I do feel like my baby hairs could have been better but eh, I try my best. It's not too bad. At least you guys get the illusion of the style and the look that I was going for. So this one, I did not really get any tangling either. No, actually, I got zero tangling. As for shedding, shedding was super duper low. When I was styling it, I did get some more shedding than the other wigs, but nothing too crazy where it's like, you know, you got to return it back to the sender. It's still good. The texture of the hair, same thing as the other ones. It's like a kinky straight blown out texture lightly curled really nice i didn't really run my fingers through the curls because i don't want to lose the curls and the more you run your fingers through the more puffy it gets so that's the last thing i'm trying to do that's what it looks like with the hair down and it is just a fire cute wig especially in the sunlight like and you can see the texture and the details of the wig is so gorgeous great job again Ultra love it so if you have any questions feel free to comment below and i'll get back to them as soon as possible i love you guys like comment subscribe see you guys on the next video later